How can you rebuild trust in a professional relationship? Yes. Well, rebuilding trust in a professional relationship can be a challenging but essential process. Here are some steps you can take to work towards rebuilding trust. One, acknowledge the issue. Be honest and open about the breach of trust. Acknowledge uh, the specific actions, the specific actions or behaviors that led to the, the breakdown of trust. Second, take responsibility. Accept responsibility for your actions. That's very important. Avoid making uh, excuses or uh, blaming others or the situation. Taking ownership of the situation is a crucial step in rebuilding trust. Third, apologize sincerely. Yes, offer a genuine and sincere apology. You know, clearly, I would say express remorse for any harm caused and, and assure the other person that, that, you, that you understand the impact of your actions. Four, demonstrate change. Actions speak louder than words. We all know. Show through your behavior that, that you are committed to making uh, positive changes. This may involve making amends, correcting mistakes or implementing new processes to, to prevent similar issues in the future. Fifth, communicate openly. Keep lines of communication open. Be transparent about your intentions, decisions and, and, and actions. This helps in rebuilding trust by showing that, that you have nothing to hide. Yes. Six, set clear expectations. Clearly define expectations moving forward. That's important. Discuss and agree upon the standards and, and behaviors that are uh, expected in the, in the professional relationships. Uh, this, I think, helps prevent misunderstandings in the future. Seventh, be patient. Yes, rebuilding trust takes time. Be mindful of that. Be patient and understanding. Uh, recognize that the other person may need time to heal and uh, regain confidence in the relationship. Eight, seeking feedback. Encourage open communication, as I said, you know, by asking for feedback. Uh, understand the concerns and, and, and perspectives of, of the other person. And, and be, I would say, willing to address any lingering issues. Nine, build consistency. Consistency in your actions is key. Remember that. Demonstrate reliability and, and dependability over uh, the time to show that changes you have made are lasting and enduring. Re-establish boundaries. Clearly define boundaries and, 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 and expectations in the, in the professional relationships, in the professional space. This can help uh, rebuild a sense of safety and security. Finally, consider professional assistance. Yes, don't shy away from it. If the breach of trust is significant, consider involving uh, a mediator or a conciliator uh, seeking you know, professional guidance to uh, facilitate discussions and help navigate the process of, I would say, rebuilding trust. And remember that you know, rebuilding trust is a, is a gradual process. Yes, and, and it may not happen overnight. Uh, both parties would need to be committed to the, uh, to the process for it to be uh, successful.
open and honest communication, as I mentioned earlier, is essential throughout the journey of rebuilding trust in a professional relationship. Remember that. Thank you so much. I'll see you again with another set of episode of this podcast. Until then, goodbye and good luck. <laughs>